evening all. Uh, many of you will already know that I um, I was the first person to come up with multi-bay chambers, filter chambers, way back in 1982. This shows an original sketch I made where you can see that water comes from the drain, the bottom drain, and feeds by gravity up into the first settling chamber. Now, you see the arrows, and I've got it as settling one, settling two. These are transfer ports that transfer the water from the top of settling one into the bottom of settling two. Then from the top of settling two and upwards through the filter cartridge and then down the transfer port again into filter two and then to the pump. Yeah, that was the first one. I designed. I did them in one, two, three, and four chambers. They they were about each chamber was about two feet square. Anyway, um, during trials, I discovered that a flat base was uh, a little less than useless uh, because what actually happened the settling did work all the way through all the way through all the way through and in the end um, it became more waste in the filter than anything else at the time I didn't know that water tracked directly from the inlet to the outlet from the inlet to the outlet, from the inlet to the outlet, from the inlet to the pump pickup. Anyway, flat bases were an absolute waste of time. So, later I tried to get round this and came up with this design. Enlarge it a little bit. Yeah. This is roughly the same thing. Uh, chamber one, chamber two, chamber three, chamber four. This was um, a design I came up with about uh, 1983 where I realized the importance of ha having uh, uh, drains and, 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 and making the, the base of the filter slope down towards a drain. Uh, this is a picture of a Cockney Coy version that, that's still being sold today. Um, however, to owners of any Cockney Coy system that, that, that you have now, these waste valves are little less than useless because they go to the base inside the filter, usually about halfway, and they only drain the part of the waste, it's a small part of the waste. It doesn't it, 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 it's not, it, it doesn't clean the base, although pe many people think it does. But if you, owners of these, if you removed the, the media and what have you from these first two chambers and then opened the valves, you'd see that very little waste is being removed. Uh, and I was always extremely aware of this, so we'll move on to the next one, which is 
this one. I came out with this one in, in round about 1986 or 7. It was my Vortex system. But if you look closely, I, I finally discovered that um, in order to get waste valves to drain perfectly, I had to stand the vortex on a skirt. Take the shape of the filter down to a cone shape at the base, put a drain in it, in it and then open a valve to send it to discharge. It, it did work pretty well. Unfortunately, it was still an upward flow box and um, and the, 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 you, you, there was no way I could change the water flow, the pattern of the water flow. Now, someone else saw my vortex unit Incidentally, this Vortex unit here was 54 inches in diameter and stood over 6 feet tall. It was an enormous thing. Um, I later got the idea to link these together in, in a series of four published uh, a sketch of this in, in Koikichi during 1995 and then this kind of thing came up for sale. This uh, is made by Cloverleaf, and I, I, I think it's still available today. But it is a, a direct copy of my uh, four vortex systems placed in a square. Water comes in from the pond here. These chambers are little less than uh, they're about twenty-four inches diameter. Uh, the, 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 the filter is only about, um, I would say two and a half feet deep, although I don't know for sure. Um, water comes in from the drain or, or from the pond in, in this four inch pipe. It's taken out that trans, out of that transfer port. I don't know how it gets to, well, it gets to the bottom because it is a transfer port. Rises up through the brush media, falls down again through the next transfer port, rises up through the uh, solid Japanese filter mat, so I don't know why that is, falls down and then eventually comes on to foam. At the end, water enters this pipe and is taken by pump back to the pond. Again, these were flat bottomed boxes. And the, the, the slide valves you see here on the side of each one do, do little in uh, actually removing the, um, the rubbish that's in there. So, um, I thought I'd, I'd share this with you tonight, and, and, and believe me, it's not slating off um, uh, uh, multi-bay chambers and things like that, because <laughs> I designed the things in the first place. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for listening. I ho hope you found this uh, a little bit interesting. Thanks again.